Hey guys, welcome back. Mixed Media Girl here. Um, so today we're going to create a painting using a hair dryer. And this is a really fun technique that's super easy and gets amazing results that I love. So, um, and we're just going to use three colors, starting with white. And I like to do this at a bit of a diagonal, like kind of a light versus dark. I'm going to start with white over here. And for those of you who don't know, uh, these are acrylic paint mixed with Floetrol and water. That's all that's in these bottles here. So there's my white, and then I'm going to put some black over here. There we go. And then I'm just using one other color. So this is also really simple to do with just basic colors. This is a metallic blue, and I'm gonna overlap the white a bit and the black. Fill this in here. Okay. Now here's where the hair dryer comes into play. But first, I'm gonna just move it along to the edges real quick here. That just helps it out. Uh, so I am going to turn the volume down for this part because the hairdryer is very loud. And yeah, let's have some fun with this. All right, and there you have it. That's literally all there is to it. You can work it over as much or as little as you want. Um, so I got a bit of the white over into the blue and then the blue into the white and et cetera. Um, and as you can see, the hair dryer helps create some really cool effects with some lacing and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and just let this sit here for a bit see what else maybe develops on its own, and then we'll go ahead and do our close-up. All right, so we're back. I handled the glare that was over there, so sorry about that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go in for our close-up. All right, so I'm showing you this from my perspective. So we've got our negative space with white here, just plain white. And then we've got the blue that's coming into it. And over time, as you can see, like there's some cells that developed here. Um, more will possibly happen like overnight as this is drying. We've got some awesome lacing throughout here. Love that. Um, I should have probably used a little less blue, <laughs> to be honest. But anyways, then we get into the black. I love how the blue and the black collide, especially since the blue is metallic. So it gives it this sheen on the black there, if you can see that. And then we've got some really cool cells down here as well. And there you have it. So that's just something really, really fun and simple to do. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you give this a try. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.